hello guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time coming across this channel you are most welcome please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and click the bell icon beside it so that youtube will always notify you anytime i drop a new video about z word all right guys in my last update about this is fit we stopped at where Mayra was caught eating during the cabachot fasting and she later lied that she was trying to feed Sherilyn and she later went to Prita to torment Prita so we are going to continue from there and if you are yet to see that video i will leave the link to the playlist in the description box below and i would leave it on the card you are seeing it right here on the card please click on it and watch every of that playlist before you come and watch this one for better understanding but before we continue this video i would like to give a shout out to gracie sams she dropped a comment in my last video and she said she wanted a shout out and that comment already got six likes that means you guys actually want me to give her a shout out so shout out to you gracie sams thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks for loving my video all right guys so let's continue shailene asked Mayra where she went to because she has been looking for her Mayra said she went to entertain herself by going to insult prita and it was so much fun it is time for puja prita was about to sit for puja with other ladies but she suddenly faint Everyone was shocked seeing this and they quickly ran towards her. Rishab called the doctor and Karan carried Prita to their room. Mayra asked Shailene what will happen now. Shailene said that Ramona's plan is working now. Then both Shailene and Mayra now recalled how Ramona had missed poison in the ladu that Prita ate before she started fasting. Shailene said that the poison is working now and Prita has no choice but to drink water and her fast is going to break if she drinks water. Mayra was happy and she said that she can't watch Prita keep fast for Karan because she doesn't deserve to be called Karan's wife. The doctor arrived and checked Prita. The doctor then asked that what has Prita eaten today. Prita said she is fasting so she didn't eat anything. The doctor now said that considering the symptoms that Prita is getting, it seems like there was poison in the food she ate last. The doctor again said that she is sending Prita's blood sample for testing and once the report comes out, then she will confirm what exactly is wrong. Then before the doctor leaves, she told Prita to eat something so that she can have strength. Prita said she won't eat anything because she doesn't want to break her fast. Karan scolds her and leaves from there angrily. Daddy told them not to force Prita into eating if she doesn't want to. Rishab said that the poison is spreading on her body, so she has to eat something. The doctor suggests that they should admit Prita to the hospital, but Prita disagreed saying that until she completes her fast and the rituals, she won't go anywhere. The doctor then gave her injection and told her to take a rest. Mayra said to herself that it seems like God also doesn't want Prita to fast for Karan because she is not his wife and she only got married to Karan by deceiving everyone. Karan entered the room and saw Prita resting on the bed and he sits beside her and holds her hand. Mayra entered with food and said that the doctor suggested that Prita should eat and that is why she brought food for her. Karan collected the plate from her and he was about to feed Prita, but Prita stops him saying she won't let anyone or anything break her fast when it is not yet time. Karan insisted that Prita must eat, but she refused to take the food. Karan then leaves the room angrily saying that Prita can do whatever suits her because he doesn't care anymore. Mayra said if Prita thinks she can win Karan's heart by keeping this fast, then she is wrong. Mayra then continued by saying that today, no one is going to stop her from feeding Prita because the elders in the house has already given her the permission to feed her. Prita said she would not eat the food and Mayra forcefully tried to put the food in Prita's mouth. But Prita pushed her hand away and the plate of the food drops from her hand. Karan was talking to himself and he wonders who is the fool who invented this cover chart of a thing where the wife has to stay hungry and suffer for the whole day so that the husband can have a long life. Then he said that because of this belief now, 
Prita is not listening to him, and Prita staying hungry is really affecting him because he's tired of this silent Prita as he can't wait to have that Prita who troubles him every time again. Prita said that Mahira wants to forcefully break her fast, but she won't allow her since she can now see that the Kavachot fast is just like a joke to Mahira, but to her it is a ritual that she has to complete no matter what. Mayra then said that how can Prita think that the Kavachot fast is a joke to her when it is the most important thing to her right now because using this fast alone she can prove to everyone that she is the real wife of Karan and not Prita. She then told Prita that all she is asking for is that Prita should just take one bite of the food but now that Prita refused to eat then she has to do something big this time and Prita should not blame her after what she's about to do because Prita is the one forcing her to do it. Prita said that Mayra cannot do anything more than what she has done before and Mayra leaves the room angrily. Shailene asked Mayra if Prita break her fast and Mayra said she did not but she had fun seeing her dull face and bad condition. Ramona called Mayra and Shailene and she said that now that they have executed their first plan of mixing poison into the ladu that Prita ate before her fast, so it is now time for them to carry out their next plan of teaching the Aruras the biggest lessons of their lives. Ramona then told Sherlyn what to do and she agrees to do it. Rishab said what is wrong with Prita may not be food poisoning and the doctor might have misunderstood the symptoms that Prita is having because who would have mixed poison in Prita's food? The doctor then said that it seems like it is not food poisoning truly. On hearing this, Shailin quickly acted like fainting and everyone runs towards her. Samir called Shruti and informed her about Prita's condition but before he could tell her everything, Shruti disconnected the call and decided to go to the Lutra's house. After the doctor asked examined Shailene, she then told the Lutra's that Prita and Shailene's symptoms are the same. Mayra then came in and informed the Lutra's that a cat that ate the same ladu that Prita and Shailene ate had died. They were all shocked and they remembered that it was Sala that brought the ladu for Prita before they started fasting. Karina then told the doctor to send the remaining ladu to the lab for test. The doctor said she will update them once the test result for the ladu is out. Karan said that he is very sure that there won't be any poison in the ladu because Ansala can never poison ladu and bring it for her daughter to eat. Rishab said that but Shailene was fine since morning. How come she is now suddenly sick? Shailene said she didn't eat the ladu since morning that it was few hours ago she ate it. She then concluded that it is now obvious that Salah wants to kill her unborn baby. Rishab said that Shailene is fond of always blaming Aunt Salah and Prita for every bad things that happens to her. He then said that he doesn't think there is any poison in the ladu and the doctor just assumed that they ate poison due to the symptoms that she saw in them, so they have to wait for the result from the lab before they can accuse anyone guilty. Karan said he also doesn't think that the ladu has anything to do with Shailene's health, just like the way he doesn't believe that Shailene is pregnant, because she didn't tell anyone about her pregnancy until she was asked to fast and suddenly she became pregnant. Rishab said Karan is right about that and Shailene started acting like crying and she said this is why she didn't tell anyone about her pregnancy because she knows that everyone would mock her just like Karan is doing now. She continued by saying that she is very disappointed in Rishab for supporting Karan in mocking her pregnancy. She again said that Rishab did not even smile or happy after hearing the good news because the truth is that Prita and her family are more important to Rishab than she and her unborn baby. Rishab then said that it is enough now and Shelly needs to take a rest since she is sick. Myra said Rishab is hurting Shelly with his behavior, especially when he knows that Shelly is pregnant and what she needs now is Rishab's attention and care. Rishab said he doesn't need to prove to anyone how much he is concerned about Shailene and her baby and that is why he is telling her to take a rest. 
Shailene said that everyone saw how Rishab talked to her and no one said anything to him. Daddy said she doesn't think Rishab and Karan are wrong because she herself do not think that Salah is trying to kill Shailene's unborn baby. Karina tried to say something but Daddy stops her and she leaves. Shailene started crying and Karina told her to stop crying and assured her that she would try to talk to Daddy to support her. Shruti entered the Lutra house and she went to meet Prita. She hugged Prita and said that she was worried hearing about her sickness. Prita said she is feeling better now after seeing Shruti. Samiru told Shruti that the doctor said that Prita ate poison. Shruti immediately suspected Shelin and Mayura and she asked Prita that did Mayura or Shelin give her anything to eat. Prita said no and Shruti thought in her mind that she would find out about this. In the parlor, Karina told Daddy that Prita is not a lucky charm like Raki used to say, but instead she is a bad luck for the Lutras. Kritika came there and informed everyone that Shailene is not in the house. Shailene, on the other hand, got to the Arura house with the police, saying that Sarla tried to kill her baby by poisoning her. Sarla tried to defend herself but no one listened to her and the police arrested her and took her to the police station. Prita felt something bad has happened and she told Shriti that she wants to speak to Sarla. Karan entered and told Shriti to feed Prita with some food because Prita has refused to eat. Prita said that no matter what, she will not eat the food because to her, the kapha chot is a very important ritual that she must complete for not only Karan's long life, but also for the long life of her relationship with Karan. Karan was shocked on hearing this and he decided to stop bothering Prita about eating. The police has already arrested Sarla and they took her to their custody. Shailin followed them and she kept on telling the police inspector to make sure they give Sarla a very severe punishment because she tried to kill her unborn baby. Sarla said that she is innocent and she can't even think of arming Shailin not to talk of her unborn baby even though Shailin is trying hard to kill Prita, her own daughter. Janki pleaded with the police inspector to leave Sarla and let her go because she is innocent and she can't even think of arming anyone. The police inspector said that the case that was charged against Sala is very strong so she can't help Janki. The police inspector then suggests to Janki to go and hire a lawyer before Sala's bail can be granted. Shailin told Sala that police helped Prita to stay in the Lutra house and she is tolerating her every day. But today, she has also decided to take her revenge by arresting Sala with police as well. Shailene left the police station and went back to the Lutra house. Immediately she entered, Karina asked her where she went to without informing anyone. Shailene immediately acted like she was about to faint and Mayra rushed to her and helped her to the bed. Mayra told them to bring energy drink or lemonade for Shailene because she is losing energy and she locked the door from inside. She then asked Shailin what happened in the Arura's house. Shailin explained everything that happened to Mayra and both of them laughed. In Prita's room, Shruti was massaging Prita's head, but Karan stops her and he started massaging Prita's head instead. Prita opened her eyes and she was shocked to see Karan giving her head massage. Samir told Shruti that he can now see love between Karan and Prita. Janki got to the Lutra house to inform them about Salah's arrest. Okay guys, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, share this video, and comment down in the comment section what you think about this video. And please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon beside it so that you always be notified anytime I drop a new video. I'll be dropping another video apart from this one today. So please make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell so that you'll be notified. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.